it was my first day. My first day is a high class air school. I walked into the apartment, looking at the view of the harbour and the water sparkling in the sunshine. A clear view of Rangi Toto Island. Everything was so modern, so flash. I had to show ID to make sure that I was the legal age to work. The apartment was a mixed smell of cleaning products, money, plastics. There were other women there at the apartment, but they were not very friendly. I guess people in that industry simply hated the world. Everyone had fake names. My name was Amy. <laughs> Um, you didn't want clients to know your real name in real life. I, remem I remember a male being at the door. He was a booking that the madam had made for me. My heart was racing so fast that I could feel it. It felt like it was going to pop out of my chest. I had been given a quick, brief explanation of what was about to occur in the hour booking. Massage, full play, and full sex. But I don't think anyone would ever be ready for what was about to occur. I walked out of that apartment that day making $700 for the day. I thought, well, that wasn't so bad. I was alone in a big city. The buildings were so high, I felt that I was drowning. As things went on, I, w I began wearing a lot of makeup to disguise myself. I had hair extensions, fake nails, and a lot of designer clothes that clients had bought for me. I don't know how people would afford hair extensions with a real job. They were $500 and only lasted about three weeks. What a joke but you would make that kind of money in a day anyway. It was all just unreal. I hated the lies. My life was one big lie. I'm grateful that I no longer lie. Heck, when I first had my car crash, I would forget what I was lying about. <laughs> Doing that kind of work, none of the women wanted to pay tax. So we each paid for a vault where you hide the money with no questions asked. It was spooky. You walk into a room with hundreds of vaults. It's like something you would see on a movie. They would even have secret rooms where you would be able to hide things with no cameras. When I hit the car crash, I had saved about $7,000 for emergencies, but my dad and sister went to close the vault as it was like $400 a year to keep it. And the money had gone. I had been doing that job for three, for the last three years and saving just to have it taken. What a fucking waste of time that was. And there was no evidence that the money was there in the first place. I had been saving. I had always had $7,000 in there, plus multiple bank accounts. I was just so young and naive. When I was in the rehab, my dad just told me that the money had gone. I had mixed emotions of fear and anger. I did that job so that I would have something to say, to fall back on if something were to happen. And here I was with a broken neck, a broken pelvis, a traumatic brain injury, and nothing to fall back on. I thought I was having a nightmare, all because I had dreamed of that rehab before. Everything was exactly the same. So my brain had tricked me into thinking that I was, it wasn't real. I was just calm and just went along with it. Obviously, there were days I thought about giving up. 
but imagine the life that I would now miss out on. I ride my bike on the beach while I see everybody at work. I have the beach to myself. The most free person in the world is the one who has nothing to hide. Honesty has the power that very few people can handle. When life gives you lemons, ask if they're organic. Thank you. Thank you.